In this video, I want to <clears throat> talk about naming all kinds. <clears throat> so we have basically two general way of naming organic compounds. Uh, one of them is called common names. The other one is called IUPAC names. So I always start with the common names. So in this video, I just uh, talk about the common names for alkanes. So we have some examples of general alkane molecular formula, as you see from top left, we have methane, then ethane, propane, butane, isobutane, pentane, isopentane, and neopentane. If we just talk about the unbranched one, as you see here, the number one, methane has just one, ethane has two carbon atoms, propane has three carbon atoms, butane has four carbon atoms, and pentane has four and five car uh, carbon atoms. So basically, as you see here, some of them are unbranched, as you see on the, the first four here and this one. So we can call it either something like normal pentane or impentane or just simply pentane. Or for example, butane, we can call it normal butane or n butane or just butane. That means we are dealing with an unbranched alkane formula. The names methane, ethane, propane, and butane have sterical roots. From pentane on, alkanes are named using the Greek word for the number of carbon atoms plus the suffix a and e at the end to identify the molecule as an alkane. Common names. If all alkanes had unbranched, it means that straight chain structures, their nomenclature would be simple. Most alkanes have structural isomers, however, and we need a way of naming all the different isomers. For example, we have butane C 4H10. We have two isomers of butane. The unbranched isomer is simply called butane or n-butane, meaning normal butane, and the branch isomer, which is called isobutane, meaning that isomer of butane. It means that the shape of the chemical formula is different, but the molecular formula is the same. The molecular formula is the same, but the shape of the chemical uh, structure is different. So that's why we have isomers of the uh, compounds. So we had two isomers of butane. The left one is called normal butane or just simply butane, as you see here is unbranched. And the right hand side we have isobutane because it's branched one. Next one is the pentane. Pentane has five carbon atoms. So we have three isomers of pentane. The three isomers of pentane is C5H12 are called pentane, uh, normal pentane or isopentane and Neopentane. So we have from the left hand side, we have n pentane or normal pentane, then we have isopentane, and then we have neopentane. So that's basically the um, different isomers of pentane. So as you see here, the pentane has three isomers, butane has two isomers. So as a review, we have common names, sometimes called trivial names. Isobutane, isopentane, and neopentane are common names and meaning historical names arising from common usage. Common names cannot easily describe their larger, more complicated molecules having many isomers. So that's why we need to have another class of naming their chemical formula, their organic compounds, which is called IUPAC. Uh, 